It was a black Easter Sunday in Imo State as unknown gunmen killed persons. Details are still sketchy, but reports say the shooting started from Banana Junction, then to the popular Three Palm Tree Junction in Orlo. Timber Junction and its environs were also affected. Eyewitnesses say many lives were lost. Police authorities are yet to react to the attack. And we're now being joined by the acting youth leader Ohanez Ndibo Worldwide on Wasoanya FCC Jones. Mr. Jones, thanks for joining us. Thank you very much. Aren't you bothered by the incessant attacks in Olu community? Well, um, every reasonable citizen, irrespective of your political, religious, uh, uh, social background will be very, very worried about uh, what is happening in the Southeast, in Imo State, and elsewhere in Nigeria. So yeah, I'm bothered. I'm bothered about what is happening, and I believe every other person is really worried by what is by the threat of insecurity and attacks and innocent and very soft targets across the Southeast. Mm. So do you think the state government, with all the security mm -hmm. apparatuses in the states, mm -hmm. are up to the task in dealing with this crisis? You have to understand that the state government is doing its best, but you have to understand that there is nowhere in the world where we have absolute security. Even in the United States, about three days ago, a gunman shot through a pack and killed a lot of people and about uh, many people are injured and are in hospital. And maybe we can say that the difference is that um, those who perpetrate such acts in more advanced and more secured countries of the world are quickly and most often easily apprehended or brought to justice. But over here in Africa, in Nigeria, we find out that um, our security agents uh, not, uh, may not be able or may not have been able to really apprehend the sponsors and uh, the actors behind these uh, aspects of insecurity. Okay. The state government is doing its best over time and um, we must understand and uh, appreciate the limitations a state governor, a state government has when it comes to issues of uh, security and the armed forces. Uh, the state governor is not the commander in chief. Mm. We have a commander in chief, and because of the uh, security, the kind of federalism we operate in this part of the world, uh, the bulk of uh, power, of military power, lies on the president, on the federal government. So, but um, I do not want to agree with those who might think that the, uh, the, the uh, security personnel have been totally overwhelmed by these uh, security okay. challenges. All right, uh, Mr. Yeah. Jones, uh, um, we've heard what you've said so far, but then why the killings of INEC officials? Because it is fast becoming a norm in the state. Well, I would not be able to say why criminals act the way they do. Uh, the killing of, an, of the INEC official is as uh, unfortunate as the killing of policemen, as security agents, attack on innocent citizens, decapitations uh, in our law, and uh, wherever this happens. It's, uh, terrorists are terrorists. It's unfortunate that a lot of people or some people have been cowed into refusing to tag these people who they are. A lot of them are trying to make us think they are agitators. What are they agitating for? They are agitating to be allowed to kill their, their, their fellow citizens without being brought to justice? There is no sense in whatever they are doing. They are killing people, destroying our economy, destroying our educational system, destroying our infrastructure. Okay. So the killing of the INEC officials exactly. Um, as... Uh, exactly, uh, Mr. Jones. 
Um, having said that, do, do you think or what do you think the government and the security apparatuses in the state is not doing right? What do you advise and suggest should be what they should look forward to doing now to help the situation as it is affecting the state presently? Well, there are many things they can do from a civilian's perspective and um, a leader's perspective. I feel that... Um, the security agents should invest more in intelligence. They should be able to pick up intelligence from the camps of these individuals, of these criminals, perpetrating this crime across the Southeast. They shouldn't be reactive. They should be proactive. They should be able to ensure that they capture, kill, or arrest only those who are guilty, only those who are behind these attacks. Mm. The situation is worsening because sometimes uh, people, innocent people, or people who just uh, who are peaceful in their dispositions are arrested or sometimes are killed. Okay. But you know, the security agents cannot tell the resources available to them, be able to detect detect and find out where these camps are, where the, these individuals are, where the politicians who are supposed to train them are. Mm. How do these people move logistics to uh, uh, carry out such attacks these people are carrying out? They require a lot of logistics. Exactly. How do these logistics move? These are things the security agents should begin to do more. Than, okay. Uh, responding um, to that and being reactive whenever these people are attacked, they run around and arrest innocent people. So they should invest more on in intelligence. They should track those who are sponsoring them. Okay. Track the actors and deal with them decisively. All right. So they should track um, those sponsoring them, the actors, and then deal with them decisively. And having said that, Mr. Jones, we want to thank you for being a part of our news and giving us feedback concerning the event as it's happening in Imo State. Thank you so much. We pray that everything will go right in the state. Thank you for joining us. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.